Today our study will be over the corner plane with rational numbers. We've already talked about corner plane with integers, positive and negative whole numbers. What about if you have, if you mix them mixed numbers, fractions, and decimals? There really is no different actually. So, let's answer this question. Mr. Joe is located at two and a half comma one. You know what, I'm gonna start right there and actually plot myself. Actually, I'm standing right here, but imagine I was on here. Oh, but actually, I don't have to plot myself, I can move myself. Two and a half comma one, so right here. I am between two and, a, two and three. So again, you start at zero, the home base. Two and a half is going right on a number line. One is above one. Tyra Banks, his celebrity girlfriend, is located one and a half north and one and a half east of Mr. Joe. Label Mr. Joe and Tyra's uh, spot. You know what? I'm going to move myself because I take up too much space from this. So I'm right here. J for Joe. My celebrity girlfriend is away from me. So let's see. She is one and a half north of my location. So let's see. One and a half. So she's right here. But then she's one and a half east of that location. So let's do half first. Here's half and here's one. So she's right here. T for Tyra. What is the location of Tyra's location of Tyra Banks? She is located at Let's start at zero, the home base. X. Looks like she's going four. I mean, on a number line, positive. Going right on four. Going above on y axis, we're two and a half. You know, you can also say four, comma, two and five tenths. Because two and a half is the same as two and five tenths. So, Mr. Joe will be visiting New York City very soon to be part of her talk show. Actually, I plan to go there spring break. I don't know. Hopefully, I will. But of course, she might do a restraining order against me. <laughs> Just a joke. All right, so quadrants. So, a coordinate plane is separated into four quadrants. Do you remember your quadrants? If not, go back to an old video. So, this is quadrant one. This is where quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. What are the characteristics of quadrant one? Well, quadrant one. Well, I know a zero is the home base. So I know we go right on the x-axis, which are positives. And we go above, so I mean positive. So anytime you have nothing but positive numbers, it goes in quadrant one. Quadrant two, what are the characteristics? I start at zero, I go left of zero. Oh, that's negative numbers. But I still go above positive on the y-axis. That's what are the characteristics of quadrant three? You know what, I bet you this is it. If you interchange quadrant one, it's gonna be three. Let's see. Let's see, quadrant three. I go left of zero, which are negatives, on the y-axis, so that's excessive, Y-axis, I go below zero, which are negative, so it's negative, negative. And last but not least, quadrant, that's a four. Much better. There, much better. Quadrant four, what are the characteristics of quadrant four? I start at zero, I go right of zero, positive, but I'm going below on the y-axis, so that's negative. So if you know these characteristics, locating any decimals, mixed numbers, fractions, you're not really going to have any issues. So, one at one. So again, here's it. So let's practice graphing some stuff. So for example, if you had to graph three and a half comma negative two and one half, where will it be? So I start at zero, the home base. The first x-axis, y-axis. The first number is for the x-axis. It says I need to go right or left. I need, well, it's positive. I need to go right three and a half. One, two, three and a half. Right there. 
Then it says I need to go below, above or below on the y-axis. Well, negative 2 tells you I need to go below. So I need to go below 2, 1, 2, and a half. So it goes right here, and that is that location. What if you have a little harder one, a more difficult one? For example, mm, let's do 1 and 1, 4, comma, 2. So, I start at 0, the home base. Y-axis says I need to go 1 and 1, 4. That's right of 0. 1 and 1, 4. Interesting. Well, first of all, I know this is half. That's one and a half. Is one fourth before one half or after one half? Interesting. Like, can't you rename one half as two fourths? So, one fourth is less than one half. So, that's one fourth right here. And this is three fourths. Oh, okay. Oh, these are separated by 25 hundredths. So I have 1, 1 and 1 fourth, which is the same thing as 1 and 25 hundredths. 1 and 1 half, which is 1 and 50 hundredths. 1 and 3 fourth, which is really 1 and 75 hundredths, and 2. So let's graph this now. It says right and 0, right, 1 and 1 fourth, right here. Y-axis is 2. Is that below, above or below? It's above, and it goes right here. So 1 and 1 fourth, comma 2. Let's make it a little more tougher. You know what? Let's clear out the screen and make it a little more tougher. Ah. What if you have to graph this one? Uh, negative. No, let's do positive first. Positive 3 and 1 third, comma negative 2. So, I'm at 0. I need to go right. 1, 2, 3. Or an x-axis. Oh, let me label it my axis, x and y. I need to go right of 0. 3 and 1 third. Hmm. 1 third. Half. Oh, if I separate partition, draw the different parts between 3 and 4, I'm going to draw two partitions here. This one could be one-third. The second line partition could be two-third. So we have three, three and one-third, three and two-third. Then you might say, but what about three-thirds? Isn't that one whole plus the three makes four? That's why I do not. So, so let's see, three and one-third. So I start at zero, home base. I go over, right, three and one-third. And then I go negative 2. On the y-axis, is that above or below? Below 2, right here. So, we have our x and y-axis. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So the main thing is, do you know your quadrants? Quadrant 1 is here, 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> you know the location of origin, excuse me, it's right here, home base. What type of numbers do you see in quadrant one? Right and zero is positive, above, positive, positive. Next one, quadrant two. Left of zero is negative, but it's above, this one, negative, positive. Quadrant three, uh, left of zero, below, negative, negative. And that leaves me with this one for quadrant uh, let's go over one more thing. So again, if you are having problems with graphing mixed numbers, let's go straight back to a regular normal number line. You have 0 and 1. You can partition the different parts between 0 and 1. So if I partition into two equal pieces, you have 1 half. What if I partition this into four equal pieces. Whoops, too many. What if I partition this into one, two, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, that's perfect. What if I partition to four equal pieces? One, two, three, four. What fraction would be the first one? What fraction is it? It's one out of four. This one would be two out of four. Two fourth is really 
1 half. This would be 3 out of 4. And last but not least, what if I partition this number line into three equal pieces? First one would be one third, second one would be two third. So, uh, let's do another one. Let's do negative numbers. Let's do negative hmm, 2 and 1 half comma negative 3 and 1 half. So I'm start at 0, the home base. I look at my x-axis. Is negative 2 and half right of 0 or left of 0? Left of 0. So here's negative 2. I need, and this I know this line is negative 3. Is it negative two and a half between negative two and negative three? Yes, it is. Exactly halfway. So it says negative three and a half. On a y-axis, is that above or below? Below. I need to go below three and a half. One, negative two, negative three, right here. Negative three and a half. If you want to, I can label this to help you out. Negative one, go below negative two, go below negative three, Negative 3 have its right between negative 3 and 4. So this is the location. So there really is not much more to say. The main thing you know how to graph, uh, to graph uh, coordinate planes with rational numbers uh, is you just need to know you start at 0, the origin, the home base. The first number is x. And that tells you, do I go right or left of zero? The second number is y-axis. Do I go above or below? Sometimes it's whole numbers you're working with. Sometimes we work with uh, fractions. Sometimes we work with decimals. Sometimes we work with mixed numbers. But the main thing is, if you just know how many you need to go right or left, how many you need to go above or below, you'll be fine. Also, do you know your quadrants? One. 2, 3, and 4. Oh, I need a better handwriting. All right, that is the study of coordinate planes with rational numbers.